Hello, Dexter Lake. It's so good to be with you this morning. Um, as you know, we are taking the next 365 days uh, for, for a devotional every single day um, from our staff here at Dexter Lake um, just to dis discuss and, and talk about, um, you know, and really we, we will end up talking about a lot of different things. Um, sometimes we might uh, uh, talk about the message from Sunday. Uh, sometimes we might talk about um, what's just on our heart from that week. Um, but the, the goal and the purpose of this 365 initiative here at Dexter is to see 365 people uh, saved through ministry here at Dexter Lake in some form um, and, and beyond. Um, obviously, we don't stop the numbers there. but um, So we're looking so forward to this next 365 days. Um, but I wanted to share with you my thought, my devotional for this day. Uh, when I was, um, the, the, there's a scripture that's just been reverberating through my mind throughout this um, discussion, whenever we've discussed this, that I keep coming back to, and it's, it's Revelation 12, 11. It says, they triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. This is a this is a scripture I use to, you know, t talk to uh, our teenagers here at Dexter Lake when it comes to uh, the subject of sharing Jesus with others and telling other people about Jesus. Because sometimes they, you know, you know uh, and I remember this when I was young. It, it can be hard to tell others about Christ, and you can sometimes feel like maybe you don't know enough. Maybe um, you don't have all the answers, um, and we don't. Um, but the, uh, the thing that I always rest on and the comfort that I always get is remembering that we're overcomers. We triumph um, through the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Um, and this is what's been reverberating through my mind, that um, even when I might not know what to say, even when I might not know, um, you know what to share, I can always rely on my own salvation experience as a springboard to tell other people people about him, um, and it's that's something I know well. My own story. I can tell people how I came to Christ, where He's brought me, the things that He's He's done in my life that I just are are completely amazing um, and and miraculous. And so I'm always able to to share that. Well, you might say, um, well, I don't feel like I have those experiences. I don't feel like God has really brought me through something like that or brought me to a place where I could experience something um, like that with God. Um, I, I, in response to that, I'd like to share uh, Matthew 7, 7 through 8. It says, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seek, find. And to him that knocks, it shall be open." So um, when we're looking for those experiences with, with God, with, uh, with the Holy Spirit, um, and you know, we want to experience something like that to add to our testimony, to be able to share with other people, I, I rest on this scripture that says, ask and you shall be given. So when you seek, you'll find, when you seek the Holy Spirit and, and, uh, and ask God for direction, guidance, help, comfort, strength, you'll find it there in the arms of Jesus. Um, this is what we're so excited about. This is what we can get excited about as Christians and sharing the gospel with others is our own story um, and the fact that when you ask, you receive. So I hope this blesses your day. Um, have, a, have a great day today and uh, leave some comments. Let us know how you're doing. Um, engage with us on social media. Let us know what is going on in your lives. And, uh, and thank you so much. Have a good day.